I'm not fucking going seven and nine or eight and eight or nine and seven. Okay? Or ten and six for that matter. This team's too talented. I'm not going to settle for that. Okay? I know what I'm doing. We're not about that seven and nine, eight and eight, or ten and six. Wow, Jeff Fisher, you are the biggest liar to the Los Angeles Rams fan base and the players alike. Because I do not know how you got a contract extension with the Los Angeles Rams. I don't know how you're still the coach of the Rams. You should have been gone last year. I was rooting for you to be gone. And the first week of the NFL season, I have a video in the card section right there. I'll let you guys watch that video. I was really pissed off when they lost to the San Francisco 49ers. And look what the 49ers are right now. They're one and eleven, and you lost to them twenty-eight to zero. Yes, twenty-eight to zero against a pretty bad team in my opinion the 49ers and that should have just gotten you fired in the first place but now we're really really deep in the end of the season and you're currently four and eight or something like that you have a 500 season at most and that's pretty disappointing you were promising the fan base we're gonna have a winning season we're gonna make the playoffs and you broke your promise for this season and management's gonna say oh we just moved we have a tough schedule these players need to get adjusted to los angeles like come on stop with that bull crap like tough schedule i know you have a tough schedule but you gotta play hard and try to win the game in football it's special it's different from basketball in the sense that you can win any game yes you can win any game you can beat the patriots which you guys lost the patriots by the way but the jacksonville jaguars could beat the new england patriots then san francisco 49ers could have beat the new england patriots it could have happened any way because it's football and there's a lot of variables to a team winning a game so i don't want to hear that tough schedule thing that is the lamest excuse i've ever heard because if you are talking like that then you shouldn't be playing in the nfl you should be going back to college football or high school football because that is not the way to talk playing in the nfl and coaching in the nfl but to that point anyways but oh uh, wow man jeff fisher what is his current record in Los Angeles since St. Louis? It is currently 31 and 43 and 1. So he has a 42 winning percentage. Yes, that is an awesome record. I would definitely warrant a contract extension for my coach if he was that kind of coach right now doing that kind of a job. But that is not really a good job in my opinion. I think that was an awful job. I think Los Angeles, you guys should just protest or not come to the games or something like that because Jeff Fisher does not deserve to be the coach of the LA Rams. And he does not deserve to be a coach anywhere because his track record proves that he can't be a coach in the NFL. NFL. Yes, he made it to the Super Bowl. But that was way back when. That was when the NFL was so different. It wasn't a pass happy league like it is now. Defenses can't be as tough anymore. It's just a different league now from 1999 all the way to 2016. So he should not coach anymore, in my opinion. I'm sorry to say that, but that's just the truth. He's only made the playoffs six times out of his 20 plus year career in the NFL as a head coach of any team. The Houston Oilers, the Tennessee Titans, and the St. Louis slash LA Rams. It's been pretty awful. So he hasn't made the playoffs since 2008. He hasn't had a playoff win since 2003. Hey, Marvin Lewis, people in some Cincinnati won him gone instantly, but at least he makes the playoffs every year. He doesn't want a playoff game. That's not good, but at least he makes the playoffs every year. So if you got something like that for your resume, then I think people would be a little bit more welcome to have you, but you have not made the playoffs, Jeff Fisher. How do you keep getting these contract extensions and freaking Jarrett Golf situation? I think that's really, really a slap in the face to everyone because I don't know how you keep benching Jarrett Golf and sending him out for the first eight or nine weeks and start him against the Miami Dolphins, and he has a pretty pedestrian performance against the Dolphins, and, and and all these other rookie quarterbacks like Dak Prescott and Carson Wentz and Cody Kessler, they all got to start week one and they're all improving and continuing to keep playing for the teams. And that's how you learn and improve, in my opinion. Sometimes you can't get away with sending your play out like Aaron Rodgers, but Case Keenum is not Brett Favre. So I don't know what was your mentality. I don't know if you were trying to do a Aaron Rodgers, Brett Favre thing, but that's not going to happen because Case Keenum is not that good. He's okay, but not really that good. So that was a fail, in my opinion. So I think you should start Jared Goff from week one. Yes, week one. But I don't know, Jeff Fisher, that's what you're going to be using as an excuse. Oh, I didn't have time to develop Jared Goff. We're going to use him for the next season or two. I'm going to see if he develops. That's a great quarterback in that time span. But I don't even think he's going to develop as a good quarterback. I feel sorry for Jared Goff. I think the Rams just drafted him because he's from California. went to Cal Berkeley and he's in Los Angeles. And boom, he feels like home. That's kind of a PR move more. I think they should have drafted Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz is looking better. I know he's struggling just a little bit. But what he's working with right now, I think he's doing a pretty good job in Philadelphia. I think they found a franchise quarterback for the next couple of years. But Jared Goff, I don't know. It looks pretty weary after what you did to Jared golf for the first couple of weeks in this season so that's pretty disappointing but hopefully management can find some brains and fire jeff fisher right now instead of getting a two-year extension deal but it's not up to me it's up to them and los angeles hope you guys protest or something like that because he does not deserve to be your coach and he does not deserve to be a coach in the nfl ever again just based on his track record of his ineptitude as head coach of any nfl team that's pretty much it guys let me know what you guys think of this topic below about the whole rams jeff fisher thing contract extension oh uh, but just let me know what you guys 
guys think. And if you guys like this video, please uh, like, subscribe, do whatever you want with this video. And I'm going to be catching you guys up in the next video. So I'm going to have another video out probably about the New York Jets and 49ers prediction. I got to wait until the Monday night game. I want to see how the Jets do against the Colts. So see y'all then. And you guys have a nice day.